What, what, what are your thoughts on this topic, DJ? On um, what is the meaning of life? Ooh, that's quite an interesting one, isn't it? So, yeah, uh, the the surf. Surf. just Please to say it's an interesting question. <laughs> we no, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I think, and uh, I think it was uh, Don that, that mentioned it before. Uh, it really is relative. Um, if you say, look at um, something like a ichneumon, um, here's a wasp that ha its purpose is basically to find uh, other organisms and insert this uh, ovipositor or whatever it's called, um, very similar in a way to um, the movie Alien. And, so um, this life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, uh, from that perspective, but we and I think it was uh, Thunder that was talking before about everything being very uh, anthropomorphic. You know, when we start to ask the question. What is the purpose of life? We do take it from the view of... Sorry, can I just interrupt a second, DJ? Yeah. Uh, Sophia, I think we're getting feedback from you. Have you um, muted Blog TV? Someone yeah. hasn't. It's not me. Okay. Somebody hasn't. Sorry, DJ, I'm do carry on. So I, I would think probably one of the best indicators of, of, of is the meaning of life is to look at, well, what is the the actual structure and function of the life that you're you're talking about number one, because obviously the meaning of life for ignomed is um, going to be very different to the meaning of life for, you know, one of the higher primates. Um, when you look at, at man, which is obviously where most people um, equate this type of question, you need to really look at not just who we are today, but who we who we have been over a period of time. And, and really, what we are today is very, very different to what we've been through most of our history. Really, we were, we were equipped, I guess, to be hunter-gatherers. We, um, we're not very good at a lot of things, actually. We're not very fast. We're not very strong. Um, we can't jump very high. We can't hold our breath underwater for very long. We can't fly. We don't have big fangs or big claws or any of these sort of things. But what we do have which is, is absolutely awesome and has given us, I guess, that um, an advantage that, uh, and created a niche for us that we've exploited is our ability to think, our ability to communicate and our ability to bond together and form social structures that have allowed us over time to, um, to I guess, take control of certain aspects of, of what goes on in this planet. Obviously, we you know, we're still subject to environmental conditions and tsunamis and earthquakes and all these sorts of things. It's all your fault, DPR. That's right. It always is. Yep. In the in the event of failure, blame the British guy. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why you guys make such bad, make such good bad guys in our movies. Okay. Uh, Have we still got Jim John with us, though? Yeah, well, yeah, it's a red thing. You oh, have an yeah. absolutely superb so, monologue, guy. Have... Keep, keep going. It was a superb monologue about we don't have claws and teeth and... It was a superb monologue, but it was completely irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. I right. enjoyed it. I, I think that's gave, a little bit unfair. It I mean, gave course, my course, life course, meaning. Let, let, let's, let's, let's look at it this way. I mean, England beat Australia at rugby at Twickenham yesterday. And I watched the game, and I was very excited. And for me, there was a purpose and excitement in watching that. Is that the purpose of life, to see England beat Australia? Or is there something more significant? I think that was the purpose of your life yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to out of the game results, that? or just uh, men wearing short shorts tackling each other on a sweaty field? No, Don, that's you. I've seen your favourite list. A sweaty um, field, huh? Um... No, DJ, you were saying that uh, you had family and children. For you, is that a purpose in life? Is that the purpose in life? Uh, um, I think that's what, or one of the, the things that I derive purpose and meaning in life. Um, in terms of my ultimate meaning, well, then, you know, obviously I'm, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm an individual. I have different roles that um, I fulfill whilst I'm on this period of time. Um, and... According to where my station is, I guess, within a society and, and what, what I'm involved in trying to accomplish and, and the interactions that I have, the, uh, I think someone mentioned before, it's almost like, um, 
uh, I think it was Sophie was talking about legacy in a way in terms of her own research. But uh, I think as an individual, you derive meaning and purpose in life from what you do and the interactions you have and, and um, the difference you make with the different societal groups around you. Uh, who would like to come up on that? Well, of course, I was I was still leading this question toward the many creationists that we have online. We never have an adequate de- explanation or discussion of this topic in the online thing. I wanted to see a real-time explanation. I wanted to see these people describe what they think the meaning of life is. We all know what, what we secularists happen to think about the idea of applying meaning to this. I want to know what they think. Mm. It's, well, a flawed, it. it's a flawed question. It's like asking, what's the best color? No, yeah, and they, they, I, I meant to bring this up with um, Together for Peace. You know, if you sort of accept the um, the methods of scientific naturalism as you know, the best way of gaining knowledge, you know, one of the um, um, methods within that that is widely held to be of utility is you don't replace one unknown with another. That's usually a useless thing to do. So if you've got an unknown, like what is the meaning of life, and you say, well, it's to worship God, you've just replaced the unknown of what is the meaning of life to what is the meaning of God's life. You've replaced one unknown with another. Can I just ask you on that 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 point? Do you think that um, when most religions were created, um, and they were created in my view by man, um, obviously, but this, it was an attempt to answer this question, to give purpose to it. Well, they didn't have a good understanding of the sign, um, the, the best ways to gain knowledge back then. Um, it was, um, just making shit up was almost as good a method of finding things out as they did, which is why you get all these things about the rainbow. How do you describe the rain? Oh, yeah, where did the rainbow come from? Well, obviously there was a giant flood and um, God put it there in the sky as, uh, as a symbol that he would never destroy the earth with water again. And that's the explanation of where the rainbow came from. He destroyed the moon as well. He, he put craters on the moon because of the flood. Yeah. That's, how, <laughs> that's how it happened. I wonder what sort that's of rainbows you did. did a bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a perfect sphere before, and then he this, blasted, ejaculated um, comments <laughs> into it. Yeah, what well, Thunder brought up was, was a great point. When, when, when we talk about, again, going to the most base sort of representative of religion and the kinds of arguments that they give, it's, it's so much fun to try to analyze the, the things that they're saying, especially when they go on about what the devil does. Now, you want to talk about the meaning of my life. What the hell is the meaning of his life? What is his motivation? What is he out there doing? To me, it looks like he is working for God. He's the one that's running the wine press for the sinners and the unbelievers. He's the one that's killing everybody because God told him to. I can't see another reason for why this guy exists. And it's and what's the reason that, the reason that people give me. All the reasons, all the well, you know, Satan knows he can't defeat God. So, okay, great. He knows that he can't. Get, so, why is he trying? Yeah. And it's, it's <laughs> worse than that. Ever, it's like it's created. If, exactly. And and why did he give him such phenomenal power over all of our lives? And how does Satan not qualify as a god? He's anthropomorphic. He's immortal. Uh, you can't kill him. He exists in multiple different bodies, and, and he apparently is completely one-dimensional in every aspect. So I mean, I, I mean that. But it's worse than that. If you if you go on the premise, oh, we've lost the audio. Uh, 